Here's a Johnson directional coupler used for measuring SWR from a transmitter. The transmitter input goes into this coax connector. A couple of connectors here to bring out the current for your input um, meter. And the transmitter output coming out here with a white connection to get the current for the reverse direction. So this is the Johnson directional coupler. It can be used up to a couple of kilowatts, probably five kilowatts really. It's built very strong, very heavy duty. Uh, let's take it apart, take a look inside and see how simple it is. Here's the inside of the Johnson directional coupler. We've taken the case off, or the shell, and there's the uh, nameplate and the information about the directional coupler. Here's the actual inside of the directional coupler. You see the coax connector input on this side, going to this nice silver heavy tube connector to the output, so it's directly in and out. Here we have the schematic diagram for the Johnson directional coupler. Now this coupler, as you see in the video, is a rather large and well-built coupler. They're built much simpler today, but the principle is still the same. We have the input power going through here to the output connection and a way to pick up a little bit of that RF uh, reverse current and forward current. And so we can measure forward and reverse current which we can monitor SWR standing wave. If you notice the connectors down here, white, red, and black, will plug into this monitor. This is the meter that you would read it from, white, red, black. Little two position switch for forward and reverse power, forward and reverse current, and a meter for measuring or reading the forward and reverse power or the standing wave ratio. But in the process, the forward current is picked up by this resistor and reverse current by this resistor. Then also, you have a little diode in here, right here, this little red diode and a capacitor underneath the diode uh, rectifies the RF, forward RF, giving you a DC current. And down here on the other end, you have exactly the same thing with a little diode and a capacitor rectifying the RF current in the reverse direction. So you have the forward and reverse current and picked up along the uh, path of the RF here with uh, these two uh, resistors. So it's a very simple arrangement, built very mechanically very strong. And today we use much simpler uh, mechanical approaches with a toroid and we don't have nearly this much mechanical effort in building a, uh, a coupler to measure forward and reverse current or, or, or a standing wave as you would say.